Again, I'm the less of a liability when I go in. And upon completion of the protocol, the hospital will have fewer patients acquiring these pulmonary infections. They'll be able to spend less time in the ICU, and that translates into thousands of dollars saved by the hospital. And as we know, the hospital isn't exactly bleeding cash right now. So anything we can do to help them will I mean, help the school and the patients and us. Everybody wins. So what's in it for you? The courses online that we'll be taking are free to us, free to the school. You get leadership practice within your own project team, within the class. And we'll be having these monthly meetings again where we, we'll be able to meet a lot of these um, people that are on the front line of healthcare, learn about what's going on in healthcare now, and what we can do in our own hospital to improve it. And you gain these tools and skills, which will help you stand out in the crowded shelf market, where they don't just want to hire people that aren't liabilities, but people that can strengthen and protect their hospital clinic. This is just a quick little run through of what we've done since last semester. So in May, IHI was founded, and we were able to present the integration into the curriculum to Dr. Valentin. And she was very excited about it, and they were able to implement it over the summer. And then from there, we contacted the Director of Organizational Performance Improvement Department at the Medical Center. And she would be the person, pretty much, our counterpart in the hospital. And they were excited about it, and now we pretty much have an open door, which is excellent. We were able to get in touch with the the epidemiological director, and she's the one that has all the data, and she said she'd be more than willing to open that up to us if we'd be willing to work with them and help them. Because they recognize they can use all the help they can get. And we have a lot of resources here in this class, and people that are interested in making a difference in doing that sort of thing. So I think if we're able to come together, I hope you guys are interested in stuff like this. Um, it's, kind of what it, it's kind of the essence of being a doctor is wanting to Quality improvement, I guess, is part of being a doctor. You want to make your patient as safe as possible. You want to do them as little harm as possible. And this is a tool we can use to make us better at doing that now. This is just, I'll leave you guys with a little quote, which is actually from the first module. <laughs> so you'll probably see it. Every system is perfectly designed to get the result it gets. And that's very true. So if the system is failing, it's because it wasn't designed in a way to succeed. So, that being said, I'll leave it open. Two questions. We can get the No, well, basically what we would do is since we do have monthly meetings, we have a website that Veronica was nice enough to put up. And we have these, um, you should call them proposal worksheets, where somebody will go, they'll have an idea, they'll submit this worksheet to us. We'll talk about it with the directorship of the hospital. If they're open to it and it's something that they want to do, then we'll move forward. And then we'll deal with one project team leader from that project team. That person will come meet with the director and they will have an exchange of data, ideas, and they can move on from there. But we have to follow, obviously, the guidelines super strict, and they don't just want to give their data out to anybody and everybody. Yeah, but my question is, in order to submit that first proposal, we'd have to be exposed to the hospital protocol to see you know, what, what's failing. What's and it's happening. totally open for shadowing. Like, if somebody wants to go in there, like I did, and you just you go to the right person, and we can tell you who to talk to. If you're interested in saying, like, I want to go volunteer in your ICU, I want to go volunteer here, then, Roz and I will go talk to the director and say we have students that's interested in this department. Who do we need to talk to? And then we can put you in there. They're actually super receptive and they're willing to take people in and they want, they're actually very happy to have people there that are interested. So it wouldn't be a problem. And I've already, I've already presented this idea at my hospital. Uh, the hospitals I work in at, in, in the, what, in Sanerman and Maya West. So you guys, they, they're more than open, and they will actually welcome more uh, research in, in this particular area, which is a very a growing area of concern and of investigation. So there are plenty of places, and I'll arrange for that. So one more. Great. If there's any more questions, I'll like to ask questions. <laughs> this is the time.
Anybody else? Well, we're going to have a first meeting if nobody has any questions, or you can just approach me later. And we're trying to find a place to have our meeting, and Dr. Lee will be our first guest speaker, so nobody should miss that, obviously. <laughs> um, but that's about it. You guys can talk to me afterwards. We don't know yet. We need to be this month. So, oh, you can also go to our website. Um, we'll probably email that out to everybody. And then you can actually be added to our group so we can send out information as to when the, the meeting is. So, we'll be in touch.